Okay, I love aquaponics, you guys know that. And I've started to look at things a little bit differently, at space a little bit differently in particular. I want to show you guys this. Cast your eyes upon what I have here. Now, I had a, a bit of space here and was wondering how I could use it. And I found a bit of old pipe just out behind the shed, just a bit of uh, old uh, drainage pipe. And uh, I thought that should go okay for an NFT system, a nutrient film technique system. NFT is used a lot in um, hydroponics and with great success. And I cannot see why it won't work with great success here in my aquaponic system. I've set up another uh, 45 hole system here. So it really extends my system quite a bit. And it was quite simple. All I did was, uh, here's the filter, as seen in my previous videos. And I've just extended the pipe down here, added a, a new tap in so I can control the flow. And then that just simply runs up to the top end of the system here. And I have it uh, on a gradient, comes back down this way. I've got one unit there a second unit there and I've got a third unit that actually runs along the other side of my system. I'll show you that in a moment. It's taking a little bit of tweaking. There's three taps I have to worry about. This one um, controls the flow directly to that system, but the other, uh, other taps are just as important. The amount of water coming out of here by gravity needs to equally go to the three systems and that's taken a little bit of tweaking, but gee, it's working well. Um, I've only had this set up for three days. And I've actually been away for three days. I've set it up, went away. I've come back, and I can see that the plants have grown considerably already. It's a bit of an experiment, but I honestly think this is going to be a great experiment, and it's going to be something to keep an eye on because I think this technique is going to be very, very good. Okay, so um, that's the system starting at that end. Comes down here and into another gradient here running along the side of my my uh, beds here so I'm not wasting any space I'm you know I'm getting a lot more plant here for, for not much more space uh, the only problem I've found so far is I'm getting a bit of uh, vermiculite from my plants flowing into the uh, sump and I plan on putting an inline filter in down on this end to get the large large pieces out before it goes into the sump and I'll just check that every couple of days these were bought as advanced seedlings, but uh, have a look at this. And this is after three or four days growth. The roots are already coming out the bottom and they've been replanted, they only replanted to that depth and the roots are already growing quite well. A little bit dirtier than what I would like, but uh, that's probably a bit to do with the pipe and uh, that's something I'll fix up over the next bit of time. But that's amazing, look at that, that's amazing growth. Seriously, in three days, four days. I think this system is going to work particularly well. I can't wait to see the results of it. And uh, obviously I'll keep you guys informed over the next couple of weeks that this system is going to produce a lot of food, I can just tell. Okay, it's uh, weighing time again. Now, um, I've got these fish middle of January. They were about five grams. I weighed them eight weeks later. They were 80 grams. That was a really good growth, growth rate. Uh, weighed them three weeks after that and they've gone from 80 to 112 around about and today's the uh, 25th of April and I'm going to weigh them again and I've just caught one and he looks like he's definitely put on some weight Have a little look down here my god that's a big body for a little head that's amazing let's see what he weighs okay now we need him to settle and I can hardly believe this growth rate here so it's just settling now, 218 grams. This is the reason why we grow jade perch, and it's their growth rate. Have a look at the size of that little head there, compared to that big plate sized body. So you can see why they're perfect, perfect for this scenario. We're going to harvest a lot of meat off that, and it's a really nice plate sized sort of fish. And I'm going to put him back in there before I stress him too much, but that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Here we go, little fella. Back to his mates.